welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another what I eat in a day on my WW. I am on the blue plan and I follow a clean approach to the WW program, which basically means that I try to eat as clean as possible, real whole food as much as possible. So you're gonna see everything I eat throughout the day today, Diesel and Lola, some goodness. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So you definitely wanna stay for the entire video. So let's jump right into this What I Eat in a Day on WW. <music> in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time in time barefoot on the grass open skies i can feel it every time i close my eyes my eyes really these two <laughs> look at them yeah Oh, yeah, I see you all right. So here is today's breakfast. I decided to go simple and make avocado toast. It sounded really good. So I have some cantaloupe here for zero. And then I have one slice of the Trader Joe's sprouted sourdough bread for two. I have three smart points weighed out on my food scale of avocado and an egg with a sprinkle of everything but the bagel seasoning. So my avocado toast is five smart points. Everything else is zero. So this is this morning's five smart point breakfast. So I wanted to share with you guys a new favorite product of mine. I mentioned in a previous video that I'm not the biggest fan of tahini, but this tahini, I'm a big fan. This is from SOCO, which stands for Seeds of Collaboration. They support the group called Meet, which is Middle East Entrepreneurs of Tomorrow. So basically what this company is, is they are an Israeli-Palestinian partnership. So they grow prepare, package, and sell the best tahini on the market, but all of their proceeds go to support the meat Middle Eastern Entrepreneurs of Tomorrow group, which I think is really, really cool. But this tahini, you guys, is so delicious. I mean, I can't believe how much better this is than any other tahini I've ever had. You can make a really good dip. That is what I did, where you take tahini, water, and lemon and you make a dip oh my gosh it's so good it is seven smart points for two tablespoons but if you have one tablespoon it's only three so it's just really similar to nut butter that's what i've been doing really good really really good ingredients so here's your ingredients literally 100 percent ethiopian sun sesame seeds and contain sesame. So it's literally just sesame seeds, you guys. I'm telling you, this is so good. It's kosher, vegan, six grams of protein per serving, non-GMO, gluten-free, amazing. So this is the light roast tahini. It's $11.95 for this jar, which is not a bad price at all. And I'm telling you, I don't like tahini, but I love this. Also on their website, they have a tahini and dates which is like a PB and J replacement. So I'm probably going to order that as well, but I just thought I'd show this to you guys. If you are in the market for tahini or you like tahini, this one's great, great ingredients, clean food supports a fantastic cause. I'll put this link for this uh, website for this company down below for you guys. Definitely check it out. Great sub for peanut butter, really, really good on crackers. So what I did is I took one of my rice cakes my brown rice cakes and i put some of this tahini on it and that way i had a carb and a protein all in one really really good so check out the company give them your support if you're a tahini lover you won't be disappointed look at how beautiful it is today you guys it is so nice so nice I wanted to show you guys what we did this weekend in our yard. So first we went ahead and we trimmed down all these bushes over here. My husband mowed our front yard. It looks so good. We pulled any weeds that we could find. And then I went ahead and planted flowers. So I wanted to show you guys. So first we got this new sign at Hobby Lobby for our front porch. I just think it's so cute. And then here are my flowers. So I potted just some annual, I don't know, is it annual or perennial? Whatever one doesn't come back. So they just 
lasts me throughout the season, but I have this pot and my cute little bike here. And then I'll take you guys to the backyard and show you the back, but it's just really, really cute on the porch with the cute welcome sign. Also, this one's pretty cozy. Are you cozy out here, bud? Diesel, hey. I know, he's so weird. So he's happy out here, but um, also, we did get a new picnic table, so we're in the process of kind of revamping our back patio area. So this is under cover. There are lights, and then I don't know if you guys can see, but there's also speakers up here. So we do have music and everything out here. So we bought this picnic table oh, and put this thing together. It's 350 pounds for this picnic table. We bought this on Uline. I want to say it was just under $900, but it is one of those plastic that looks like wood so there's zero maintenance which is exactly what we wanted and then we bought a couple of metal fish they're handmade blue gold fish we're going to hang those up here when those come in and then we have a garbage a dog and then here's one of my other pots so i did this this weekend as well so pretty with those flowers. I propped it up on this cute little plant stand that I got at Hobby Lobby. Little Missy's in the sun over here. Yay, sunbabe, huh, babe? And then over on my porch, I have this guy, so it's really cute. I found this little bird in our yard, which was really bizarre. It's kind of a kind of a plasticky bird, and every year I just pop it in this planter on the porch here. But I think that these are just gorgeous. So that one's on the porch. And then we are in the process of removing hi guys all of these rocks and we're going to bark it like the other side over here but we're still removing rocks it's it's a long process so we've been digging out the rocks slowly by surely slowly but surely so we can add in the bark here's my other pot so i always put one of these big pots over here and then when we redid so here's a, another view of our patio area so when we redid that we ended up moving our barbecue over here to this concrete slab when we bought our house this slab had a hot tub on it and we sold the hot tub so now it's my husband's little barbecue station so I put a cute little rug here for him and this is where he barbecues and then here is my other big pot that I did oh, I'm gonna be in the way there we go my other big pot it's so pretty and then our yard my husband spent all day out here yesterday mowing he went all the way back to the fence so our property line goes all the way to that back fence and he mowed all of that he even spent some time over here like right over there is a garden area he mowed that down completely so that we can spray weeds and kill that area off he just spent literally hours yesterday he got the fire pit area all set up for us so yeah it's it's looking good. We're excited to get everything finished here. So just a couple more pots. So I have this guy here, which I think is really pretty. He kind of sits on the corner of my house. And then over here, this is our garage door. And I went ahead and popped another planter here just for some color. So those are some of the projects we've been working on. We also redid all of our lights. So these are all brand new as well as some new big floodlights that kind of go in our backyard so we can see the dogs and everything at night. So we have been just doing these home projects little by little. The lights were about $500, so that was quite an expense. And then of course the picnic table, but it's starting to look really, really good back here. And for us sitting out here on the slab, it's just too hot in the summer. So the fact that we do have this nice kind of covered area, which Diesel loves, is better for us. And we usually pull the dog bed out here to the sun for that one but yeah it's coming along nicely oh and then the other thing I bought too was this new mat so this mat looks pretty similar to the little mat by the barbecue and what I like about this it's a rubber and it's open so it doesn't get all moldy we were finding that our other mat that is like material would get mildewy and icky so this is a nice big one hi babe this is a nice big one that sits here by the French doors in our kitchen. So just thought I'd show you guys kind of what we've been working on. No judging what I look like. I'm getting ready to do Jazzercise Facebook Live. I'm so excited. So my instructors in my, at my local Jazzercise studio, the one I always go to when we're not stuck at home, they are doing Facebook Live sessions a couple times a day. So today there's a 12 10. Now I was going to have lunch first, but you guys, I'm still full from breakfast. That avocado toast, everything has kept me really, really full and satisfied. So I'm actually going to go do my workout before I 
eat. So I'm going to be hungry for sure. The workout's an hour, so it'll be a little after one o'clock. I'll try to show you guys what the whole Facebook live looks like. I just do my workout in my garage. That way I can open the door, get a little bit of sunlight. It's nice and cool in there because I really sweat. So I have quite the stylish outfit on that I wanted to show you guys. I'm at home. No one can see me. So first I have this headband, which I did pick up these headbands off Amazon. I'm going to link them for you guys. It's a set of three. They're these really thick, like moisture wicking headbands. I love them. So I have on my workout shirt and my leggings. So I'm going to go do my workout. And then of course I'll show you guys what I'm having for lunch. So I'm in my garage getting ready for my workout and this is happening. What the heck? So I pop my door open back there so I get a little bit of sunlight and then these two rambunctious turds can come in and out. And then over here is where my setup is. I know it's nothing lavish, but it works. And I have all this floor space all the way back over there for my jazzercise. And then I usually just store my water here on this work table my husband has. So yeah, this is my jazzercise space until I can go back to the studio. Here's what our live looks like. So that's our instructor. She's the owner of our studio. And then there's always a chat box going on over here. Hey, Melody, Sandy, Karen. Yay, so Jazzercise Live. Jazzercise check. Whew, I am a sweaty mess. That was an amazing workout. You guys have to see where Diesel was the whole workout. Right here, right by Mama. He's right by my car, and then I dance right here. So he's sleeping, must be nice. And there you go. That's the post Jazzercise Fitbit result. 59 active minutes, two flights of stairs because I jump around so much, 7,400 steps. When I went in to do Jazzercise, I had 2,400. So I actually got 5,000 steps. Isn't that crazy? Huh. Feeling good. So here's lunch today. I'm having my meal prep from last week. This is the last one that I have. So I have the turkey and apple meatballs that I prepped last week. These are so delicious, so delicious. And I have my roasted butternut squash beets and broccoli. So good as well. The meatballs are four points and the roasted vegetables are one point. And that is for the avocado oil that I use to roast them. And then I'm having a spin drift in raspberry lime i really like this one it's so good this is the only sparkling water on the market that doesn't have natural flavors that's literally sweetened with fruit so let me flip it over and show you guys yeah look at that carbonated water raspberry puree raspberry juice lime juice that's it so i actually really like the spindrift it's really good and again a really clean choice for sparkling water so this is five smart points i might have some dessert if i do i'll definitely show you all right i want dessert after my workout i decided i'm gonna have one of these lucy snack and go packs chocolate chip cookies these you guys are amazing they are gluten-free vegan no peanuts tree nuts milk or eggs these cookies i'm telling you you guys are better than regular chocolate chip cookies. I'm not even kidding. They have fantastic taste. They're kind of crunchy. They're really, really good. So they come in these little packs here. I'll open it up and show you, but there's three cookies in here. And one of these little packs, so for three cookies is only six smart points. So basically two points a piece. I have the points today because I didn't have a morning snack. I have uh, a smoothie planned for this afternoon and a pretty good point friendly dinner. So I'm gonna indulge and enjoy these cause I love them. So let me open these up and show them to you. So this is what the cookies look like. So that's the size of them in my hand. So they're actually not bad sized cookies. And again, you get three of them in the pack here. Here's your nutritional information. They're actually only 150 calories, but because of the sugar, they elevate them to six smart points. There's your ingredients. So really, really good ingredients, even using expeller pressed canola oil. So I bought these off of the Thrive Market. It's the only place I've seen them. Apparently they have a double chocolate chip and a lemon as well. So it's, next time I do a Thrive order, you can bet I'll be picking these up. And there's actually six of those little individual packs in here. So this is a great, item to send with your kids or to throw in your purse for a snack. They're gluten-free, vegan, delicious. So if you're interested, Thrive Market has these, so I'm going to enjoy today's dessert. So here's my afternoon after workout snack. 
You guys, I know this looks weird, but this literally tastes like a milkshake. It is so good. So what I do is I put in half of a cup of forager cashew milk. You could use a whole cup of almond milk or whatever you want. I just do half of a cup of my favorite cashew milk. And then I also do just a little bit of water to help get the right consistency. A frozen banana a bag of frozen kale, and a scoop of this vanilla Less Naked Whey protein powder. I love this protein powder. It has 25 grams of protein, and this is one of the ones in my video. If you have not seen my video yet about protein powders, I'll link it down below for you guys, but this one fell as number three out of 32 for good ingredients, and I love it. It literally has very minimal ingredients, and it's sweetened with coconut sugar, which is amazing the only thing i don't love is the natural vanilla flavor but it is still a really good protein and it tastes really really good so it's a grass-fed whey plus vanilla plus coconut sugar with nothing to hide so i'm going to link the protein powder down below for you guys i get it on amazon as well as my protein powder video but i'm going to have this shake here and it is going to be one point for the cashew milk and three points for the scoop of less naked whey it is three smart points per scoop so this shake is four smart points i do not count for blended fruit for dinner tonight, I am making chili con carne, clean eating style, and a clean eating cornbread. I have been craving cornbread, so what better dinner than chili to serve cornbread? So first, let me show you what's in our chili, and then I'll show you what's in the cornbread. First, you're going to need some chicken broth, diced tomatoes, minced garlic, oil of your choice. I'm using my traditional avocado oil, salt and pepper, chili powder, oregano, both kidney beans and pinto beans, tomato paste, one bell pepper of your choice. I just have this tricolor pack. I'll just pick one out. An onion and a pound of 93% grass-fed or 93% ground beef. Now, in our cornbread, we're going to need cornmeal, of course. So I'm using the Bob's Red Mill coarse grind cornmeal. You'll also need an egg, buttermilk, baking soda, baking powder, and of course some salt. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So in my stock pot here, you want a pretty good sized pot. I have one tablespoon of avocado oil that I have brought up to warm. I'm going to add in my chopped up bell pepper, I chose the orange one, and my chopped up onion. I'm also going to add in quite a large scoop of minced garlic, and we're gonna season up our veggies. So first thing we're gonna add is flip you around there we go some chili powder so we're going to add just a little bit of chili powder i'm not big on spicy so i don't want to go too crazy but i do want my chili to taste like chili and i'm also going to add in some of the trader joe's oregano and lastly just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper I have those right over here so some pepper and then a pinch of salt and we're going to let these veggies cook down until they're softened once your veggies have softened, we're gonna go ahead and add in some tomato paste. We want about a tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm gonna stir that up and we'll add in our ground beef. So I went ahead and added my pound of ground beef. We're just going to cook this down until our ground beef is cooked fully through before we add in broth, beans, and the rest of our chili mix. Once your meat is cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add in 14 ounces of diced tomatoes or one can and then we're also going to add in 14 ounces of chicken broth or one can of chicken broth give that another quick stir last step is we're going to go ahead and add in our can of kidney beans and pinto beans that we both drained and rinsed we're going to bring this to a boil reduce the heat and allow this to simmer for about 20 minutes so let's start our cornbread so for our cornbread, super, super simple, simple recipe. So in my little bowl here, I have one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. So we're gonna add that to our bowl. We're also going to add one egg, and I have one and a half cups of the low-fat buttermilk. So we're going to add that. And lastly, I have two cups of cornmeal. Add that and we're gonna give this a stir and we have clean cornbread. All right, so cornbread is ready to go in the oven. It's in a greased baking dish. Dad is home, so Diesel's freaking out. So this is going in at 350, or I'm sorry, 425 for about 30 minutes. 
So the chili is done and I just pulled out the cornbread. It looks so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my dinner pleated up and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. So here is dinner. I have one sixth of the chili. I topped it with just a tiny bit of shredded cheese. So no additional points for the cheese and some parsley. So it is six smart points for one sixth of the chili. I will put the points for all the plants here on the screen. And then I have one eighth of the pan of cornbread. This looks so good. And one eighth of the cornbread is four smart points. So this is a 10 smart point dinner. For dessert tonight, I went ahead and made myself a parfait, which is one of my favorite desserts. So I used the Too Good Coconut Yogurt, and I layer that with one of the Smart Cakes. This is the chai, the vanilla latte one. This one is really, really delicious. These are only one Smart Point a piece, and they are really good. The perfect size little cake. There's your nutritional information. They actually have really good ingredients, so I continue to eat these on a regular basis. They are keto and gluten-free as well. And again, one Smart Point. I do have 10% off for Smart Baking or the Smart Cakes. I'll put that code here on the screen for you, and it's down in the description box below. So I crumpled up one of those throughout the yogurt, and then I topped it with one point worth of this so delicious cocoa whip this stuff is amazing so one point worth of that right on top so my parfait is two for the yogurt one for the smart cake and one for the cocoa whip so four smart points